Fort Fareham is one of the Palmerston forts in Fareham, England. During the Cold War, the main magazine and the adjacent South Caponia served for a brief period as Fareham Borough Emergency Centre to be used by the Council's chosen few in the event of a nuclear attack. The fort acted as a hinge between the forts on Portsdown Hill and those of the Gospel Advanced Line, filling the gap at Fareham. It's been a Grade 2 listed building since 1976. Ah. Fire at least once in your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Bacon Haven, check him out. Yo, yo. Oh. Right, so we've got Mr. Secret Vault with us today. Weapon smelling move. He's showing me a dark, damp bunker. Yeah. Alone. This is not, this is, this is just a small bit of it. Oh, let's take it home. Oh, look at the size of that door. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the size of this. That's a beast, isn't it? Good quality rubber, look. That's been there a long time and that's still proper. No, oh, yeah. Christ. Yeah, they've they've seen better days. Seized, didn't they? It takes a lot to get that bloody. Yeah. Penetrated, penetrated oil. Ah, oh, Johnny. I feel like that's what we've done. It looks like light, but it's it's just reflection of my. Oh, light. Fucking scared me then. Yeah, yeah. So what's up there then? Matt? Well, you go first because I've already done it. Um, do you need light? I do need light. Here we go. Just use my... Use this bad boy. Oh, nice. Wow. These little corridors are awesome. Yeah. Each one of these is the room that's on the other side. And this is to get the air out. So they blow the air in one side and it comes out here. So it's like a fil sort of circulation yep. system now. Yep. So we just add that all in the Fort Gill kicker. Mm. Yeah. So what's in them rooms? You'll see them in a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a lot, really, you know. Yeah. Bit of a mess, isn't it? Like that uh, stuff that we did that mansion down. It's those, those things yes. being handled, yeah? Yeah. But these are totally seized. Oh, there you can't turn you these can't ones. Turn these ones. Absolutely solid. You've got to get it to go with the yeah. lock in first, but you have to keep pushing and twist, keep turning until you find the hole. Keep going. That's it. And that, that will not go. No, you're right, Matt. Everything you do seems very heavily. Uh, rusted up, uh, apart from that stuff, galvanised, so like zinc, galvanised zinc or... Did you try the handle in that one? Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. So these are like those, you know, like ball mm -hmm. tanks in that bunker we do? Yeah, they're air filters there. Oh, is that a filter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you put, you put that one 
put that rubber on there. And you put that rubber on there so it's in, out, you know. Shake it all about. Yeah. And the clean air put up here, and that's the little filter thing that rises with the pressure. Well, actually, it's down pressure, so I'm saying, you know, down. Yep. So it rolled in front of it, so you've got to keep a certain amount of pressure. Yep. <laughs> pressure. Oh, geez. A lot of condensation on there, isn't there? Yeah, that's the trouble with you know, getting rotted out. Yeah. I'm busy stripping away all the electrics and cables. Yeah, it should have been some amplifier. Actually, it might be a radio. Oh, it is. Oh my god, it's like an old police radio, VHF receiver with pipe. Volume, power, needle, big squelch. Yeah, that's an old fashioned radio, so they would have been speaking to different bunkers and ah. sector controllers and cars that were going out to check, you know, what's going on, if, what's the fire situation in there, houses on fire and... Sorry. You want there, Matt? Dusty. It's dusty in here. Oh, they might be outside now. I don't know, do you want to go in? Go yeah. for another look? Yeah. I'll see you there. Yep. Someone's been in here doing some sort of vigil, maybe. And again, we've got the uh, fastenings on the ceiling. In the holes. Probably was a bed in here as well, or an old chair. A bit eerie on my own. Matt's just gone to check. Um, the other guys are here. Okay, I've got the old switches as well. And I wonder what these were for. Some sort of shoot that coming in. I wonder if that's sort of for air filtration as well. Circulation. Hello? Hello? Hello, mate. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Was it them? Uh, they're on their way. That's what we've got. Oh, more. Bloody hell. That's where the pipes that come through here. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, that's in pipe. So that in pipe comes in. It will be processed, filtered air, and then the filtered air comes down there and into each room. Yeah, so I was looking at them from inside the room, wondering if that came from the surface or... Yeah, that's crazy. Is this just a dead end or...? Yeah. Ah. All the wall cavity. That's pretty cool. All well, the cables still intact. Yeah. So not many people have been in here, have they? Man? I don't think so. No. I found out about it. But I couldn't <laughs> find out where it was, and I thought it must have been in the back of one of the existing um, existing businesses that are using them. Yeah. Units. So I couldn't find it, you know, and I thought, oh, well, sod it then, you know, because I drove in here once, I was looking around, and if somebody had just like, told me, oh, it's through that little secret 
shitty well, looking garage it looks so shit you know the door yeah that you think well it'd never be in there could it you know that's the thing yeah you wouldn't have thought would you just no. be on that little shitty bit of wood yeah nor is this whole thing I'll let you do that on your own. I'll check if they've arrived yet. But yeah. it doesn't go very far, but it's still some interesting stuff there, man. Cool. All right, man. Doesn't go very far. Still quite big, though. And we've got the water tanks. Huge. There's one, two. So what's happened to that door? I wonder what they used. Whether that was quarters, living quarters. Uh, it was a sprinkler, but... More air filtration. But yeah, so this would have been, well, I suppose it wouldn't have always been bricked up. Old rusted brackets and hinges. It's pretty cool. And again, you've got the airflow coming down, filtered. <laughs> Ah, <clears throat> oh, they've bricked off the end, bricked off that, that's a shame, you know, I wonder if that goes outside, or maybe to another connecting tunnel. So yeah, this was uh, it's an interesting little find, just in the middle of nowhere. Well, say in the middle of nowhere, just in the middle of an industrial estate. Awesome little find. Now I wonder what they will eventually do with this. Those tanks are huge. How many litres they hold? Yeah, it's not the skies. The old pins still in the wall, rusty. What's floor in still intact? Yeah, so it's a short layer looks for today. Um, just thought I'd show you these little um, bunkers as part of the forts around me. Managed to get inside one. But yeah, again, here's that huge bolt door. It's crazy. So you've got the big door, but you've still got the holes at the top. Like that. And then the, you would have had other tanks here and other air filters here. Lighting. It's crazy. Yeah, there would have been plinths for the tanks there. So two of them huge doors. Yeah, nice. Very safe in there, wouldn't you, Matt? You'd be safe as houses. Yeah, thanks for that, Matt.
Awesome little find, thanks to the secret vault. It's what we do, folks. <laughs> Shining a big light outside, bringing our attention. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed that mini explore. And um, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.